welcome back to the channel once again now we are going to see how you draw this basic 2d drawing autocad it's very very simple for beginners so we are dealing with it okay so let's get our dimensions and then we move on now if you look at this design there is an inner circle here having a radius of a diameter of 30 that is this one and this bigger one the diameter is 50 okay so if you look at this slot over here the center to center distance is 15 and the center distance from here to the first cutout the distance is 55 now the radius for the inner arc is 7 and then the outer one is 12 so we will see how you draw it and if you look at this place also there's a radius here there's an arc with radius 60 okay now look at this side too there's a tangent arc from this to this but this is drawn at an angle of 40 degrees that is from here so you will see how we are going to do that and the inside radius for this is 5 and the outside is 9 okay so let's open our autocad and start drawing from here so you pick our center diameter click anywhere we have 50 just zoom out and go for center diameter again and then enter 30 that is this side so we are done with this side well now let's try and draw this side now if you look the distance from this side to this point is 55 there are so many ways you can do you can use a line or you can just use straight circle so i'll use a straight circle now let's find out the radius which is 12 and 7 so just click go for center radius now bring your mouse to the center of this circle don't click and then drag to the right side okay we are going to enter the distance which is 55 first now after you enter autocad will automatically give you or it will start from the point where you want so from here to here is now 55 All right so the radius is 12 now enter the radius 12 and then repeat again other one is 7 let's be sure yeah it's 7 so 7 okay now from here there's a straight line okay let's let's copy this let's copy and move to the distance of 15 that is this one so just make sure it's horizontal enter 15 good now let's draw lines the quadrant this side also from the down you can even mirror if you want okay so let's trim the unwanted lines from this side okay so let's continue there's a line from this end point intersecting this now make sure your reference green line is on if it's not on just click on this show snapping reference lines so that it will show if it's not showing when you pick a line you see it will not be there so make sure it's on all right so pick your line and then make sure it's intersecting over here good now let's draw this side now if you look the center arc over here to where we are going to draw this one on is 45 so we are going to draw a circle with radius 45 you'll just pick center radius locate the center and then enter 45 so we want to make this circle our center mark on which we are going to draw that slot okay so i'll just change the color this one and then also change the line type so i'll just the center line is not there so i just want to load it just come to line properties and then look for center line all right so i'll pick this one 
a 0.5 click ok click here and ok again all right so now select it go to the by layer and then select center line all right now let's do some calculation over here i've been saying autocad always read angle from it goes anti-clockwise all right okay so this side if you are drawing an angle this side will be zero so from zero it goes one two three four five so 90 so 90 will be here then from 90 it goes 91 to 180 okay continuously all right so now they are saying the angle from this side to this side is 40 and we also know that angle form at a quadrant is 90 degrees so if from this place to this side is 40 then the remaining will be 50 so since it's read to this side meaning from here to this side will be 50 and here will be 40 okay so let's do that so to draw that i'll just pick a line i'll click on the center just make sure it goes beyond this center arc and i'll press tab and then i'll enter an angle of 50 degrees so just enter 50 and press and enter okay so automatically the angle form here now if you have to draw a straight line here now the angle here is automatically 40 let's check angular click here and click here you see it's 40 okay and the one down here will be 50 all right so that's how we do it so let's continue now if you watch the inner circle here is five that's the radius and then the outer arc is nine so center radius enter five enter again and nine good so you just copy use the shortcut co click your base points and paste it here okay now we will just draw regular circles touching the quadrant so that we can get our slots so just select the circle and then we set it at the quadrant all right so let's trim so i'll trim this side or trim this side off and then the unwanted part will have to trim so i'll trim here trim carefully so that you don't delete the necessary lines this is the center line this side this side okay now we can delete this ones good even let let's leave this one because of the angle so let's use ma and then make this ones also a center line so that you can use it to dimension okay now there is an a tangent arc here this one with radius 30 so we will use tan tan radius just go to the circle command select tan tan radius now click the outside and here enter radius of 30 okay to be there then trim tr shortcut then you are gone all right so let's do this side also the same procedure radius 60 so Click the outside here, here, enter radius of 60, and then we trim. And now our work is done. So you can see there's nothing more to do. So the only thing that you go you're going to do is to give the dimensions. But before that, I'll just increase the line width, and then after that, I'll create a layer. I just want to reduce the line width okay so nothing left let's create a new layer and then put our dimensions on so we'll go to layer properties and you click on new just give it a name 
then i'll change the color to this okay then the line width i'll change it if not it will take this thickness which i don't want so i just pick 0 0.25 all right so let's start from diameter make this active so we have 30 again diameter of 50 let me put it here okay and let me also stretch this one small so that it will be visible okay and then i will pick um, let me use radius for this side inner radius again for the outer then radius for this side then for this side let's come down radius for the inner one then this side as well okay now let's go for the linear so that you can dimension the linear aspect so 15 then from here to this side is 55 and also um yeah there's one more radius we've not done so we'll pick which is this one 45 okay then angle so from here to this side this is the reason why we didn't delete this line angle is 40 okay so i think everything is done yeah please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if today is your first time of visiting the channel kindly subscribe to the channel if you have any question leave it in the comment section below and i'm going to answer the question don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and see you in my next tutorial